Welcome one and all, Navigator EX here, and in a very special episode of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker HD, I'm doing it on a Saturday because I'm moving it to Saturday and was too lazy to update my schedule. And in fact, forgot to update it on my stream layout, but hey, whatever, I'll fix that soon. Uh, Saturdays it is, because I need those. I need those Wednesdays. What are we doing? Yeah, so you're looking at the results of the one and only session of grinding I just got in right before starting. Uh, well, I mean, hey, points to the law and FIM. Like, three support supply market? There's, there's experience points for that? How do you rank that up? Now I want to rank that up. And welcome, Hungarian Albania sup. Howdy, howdy. Ah. Uh, so where was I last week? Oh, four, seven? I should have tried to extract a few more. I'm doing great on this end. Ah. Uh, nice sunny, almost summer afternoon. We're just getting there. Yeah, nothing's caught fire, but then again, I haven't been cooking, so... Ah, <laughs> uh, that is the only end result for my cooking. Ah. Uh. Snake! Chico, you made oh, it. Oh, I'm gonna zip through this real quick. Don't give me that. Because I've already completed this mission, so I'm just zipping through it for experience points. Something I never associated with a Metal Gear Solid game. I, I don't know why, but it's just not a thing. Love this game, though. So many little touches. Ah. Uh. So where were we last week? Zadornov? escaped from his cell and didn't exactly stick the landing though did he ah and i think that's about it but anyway if you're just now getting into this this is a late game metal gear solid peace walker hd and admittedly i have no idea what i'm doing apparently some of the uh, later missions are unlocked through means i'm not entirely sure about and i'm assuming it's keep playing the game and go through some of the side missions and other shenanigans. Holy crap, Roman Reigns! <laughs> ah, that is a face I did not remember seeing in any of the portraits. Ah. Staff have not been assigned to a team. Okay. What team? There was a team that I was supposed to assign people to. For reasons. For the Soliton Radar! Right. Trying to figure out what my goals are. Ooh. 20. Oh, that was the other thing. Yeah, trying to figure out my goals in progressing in here, because I gotta... figure out exactly what I'm gonna be doing going forward. Because I've gotta, I've gotta find out some, how to unlock the missions, and I don't... I don't want to drag that out as long as I have Resident Evil! Ooh! Taz hate water! Uh, so I'm going to be playing a couple of, uh, I guess, extra ops until I figure out where I'm going. Hmm. I feel like I should be taking all these portraits and seeing if I can assign an actor to each face. Uh, but I'm lazy, so I'm not going to do that yet. Whoop. These folks to R&D... see how many of these all right now they've leveled off to R&D moving them okay dude. Let's see if I can up that R&D level 48 okay there's too many people on R&D somehow okay how are we doing this what the okay Oh, boy. Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Management Walker. Okay, that's uh, that's six. Okay, we move them. Please tell me that didn't deselect them. Okay, good, 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 good. Put them back in the waiting room. I think now I can kind of auto-assign people. 
Wait. R&D team's at 46. What? What was the prerequisite, or prere prerequisite on the Soliton? Intel team. Doh! Ah. It's the Intel team that needs new minions. Okay. Well, might as well get these started. What? Wait, what? Analyzer. I thought it said finalizer. I'm like, what? What kind of game would have an item named a finalizer? Maybe Ratchet and Clank. They had some goofy weapon names in there. I mean, I, I, I suppose it's childish, but I can't help but get, always get a giggle when I see the rhino. Rip you a new one. Oh, wrong one. Let's see. Uh, back into... Let's see, Intel team. There's only 26 people here. Oh, wow. What are y'all you, you doing? Hey, I got some of these folks out of... Out of there. Wait, who's... Okay, Intel's the... Pay. Okay, I'm just getting the icon right in my head. Okay, this person to Intel. This person to Intel. And this person to, I don't know, AMD? I don't freaking care. <laughs> ah, Partridge. Gonna be resting there in the waiting room, it seems. Uh, hmm. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, I think I'm going to do extra ops. I have put those off for a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this happen. Let this mission play out, and then I'm gonna dip into extra ops while I'm sitting here looking over my notes, because there is more stuff than just Metal Gear on my mind. Like, uh, Tenacious D releasing a new video. I, I haven't watched enough Tenacious D in my life. Has anyone, really? Apparently, I got a new video about, uh, video games and how Jack Black doesn't play video games no more. And it gets better from there because it's Jack Black. Okay, has Zeke fired yet? No. Oh man, fertility. Okay, and here's where Metal Gear comes into play. Goodbye, heavy armor. Well, that happened. Oh man, I've actually got max level. I have max level minions! Minions! Return to me, that we may dispense our wartime justice. I don't know where I was going with that. Whatever, just shoot some people, we'll, we'll call it even. Nah! What the hell was that, peckery? Adding a little extra pecker to your name? You're supposed to dodge the bullets. I'm landing somewhere halfway between the Monarch and Skeletor. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright. And now, to violate Twitch's terms of service in a way Twitch can never find out, aside from me saying it, off with the shirt. It's like, what? No webcam. Ah. Oh man, I lost one. Oh no! Wait, did I ever replace that one that died last week? I might... I didn't pay enough attention. Damn it! It is at this time I would like to add... Be careful with caffeinated beverages, viewers. As my cherry soda is finally kicking in. It was going to be coffee. I just didn't need that quite that much caffeine this late in the evening. Oh crap! I lost two. Uh oh. Oh, a music change. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
Ah, uh, I like it. I love this guy's portrait. I always love this guy's portrait. He just seems way too happy. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess it's the cheekbones. He look almost looks like he's smiling. I, I swear he's smiling. Ah, uh, boy, this peccary. Having fun there, peccary? You didn't dodge, fool. If I needed any human shields, I'll call you. Until then, actually shoot back. Thank you. All right. Eel. Armadillo. Baboon. Okay. Gold on a who? Who's? Oh no! No cougar. And catfish. Ah. Losing my immaculately groomed mustache, men. No. Hmm. Oh well. I'll dispatch them real quick on another mission and then get into those extra ops. I can't help but wonder if that's what I'm missing, why I don't have any more story missions. Because th that'd be kind of a weird way to stop the game with just, you know, get, get Zadornov back. I know it's not the end, but it's like, what? Armored vehicle unit. I'm gonna drop Zeke here. And, uh, let's see, D+. Plus. Okay, from the combat unit. I, ooh, wow. She got some specs. All right, let's go quail and... Okay, this guy looks like an 80s action hero. It's like, dude, kind of, kind of feathered blonde hair and headband. It's like... I can't help but hear the music from the first stage of Super Contra just fire up when I see this portrait. Oh, that's great. And we do have another immaculate mustache, so we got it. We got all fronts covered. And I don't think I did launch attack on that other one. Oh, ah, whatever. We'll see. I didn't do launch attack. Wait, no, I did. Whatever. Tactical, not knowing what the hell I'm doing action. It's fine. So, where was I? Ah! Today I learned Hewlett Packard. Come on, HP. What the hell, guys? Some. Oh, boy. Just toddling along, doing my own business, and a little thing comes up about apparently they're, they're disabling printer cartridges for people not paying a subscription and it's like looking into it I get I kind of get that but the article is making it sound like they're if you don't pay the oh boy I'm rambling I'm getting ahead of myself so apparently Hewlett Packard has a thing HP they they have a thing where you subscribe to a service and they send you ink cartridges in some areas I, prices I saw were listed in British pounds so I'm assuming there and probably the states at least if you stop paying for the service, obviously they stop sending you cartridges. That's understandable. What's not understandable, at least not to me, let's see, make sure I'm not missing a new mission, okay, is the fact that they also disable the cartridge that is in your printer, even if it has good ink. Commence target practice. As a special treat, you can practice freely on any of the targets in the shooting range Ooh, today. Ooh, a treat. Shoot away. When you're done, head over to the exit. So they disable the cartridge. Like, why not just let the cartridge run out? I was like, whatever, okay. So that's stupid. But the article seems to be insinuating that the printer is also disabled upon terminating the service. I'd like some confirmation on that. You at least lose access to the cartridge, maybe even the printer. Uh, where was that article at? I don't know. You can probably Google it with HP disables printers or some shit. I don't know. And, uh, mission prep. I'll, I'll stick with the, uh, weapons I got. Oh, no, uh, strike, no support markers. Okay, gotcha. It's like I have an HP printer. It's old. It's one of those, uh, printer scanner combo deals. And that's why I got it. 
Welcome to the shooting range. Just the place for a little target practice, huh? When you're done, oh boy, what game am I thinking of? There was a game that had a shooting range as this like opening bit. Was it was it true crime? He said what to do. Okay. Commence target practice. Alright. The middle guy would have been the smart target. Darn it. That was dumb. Okay, and welcome, Altison. Oh, boy. Ah, did I whiff it? I, ah, I missed. Ah, you... Okay, I'm assuming that's, uh... Innocent, but, you know... Huh? Okay, I feel like I need to get some faster weapons for this whole target practicing bit. Ah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, what was I saying? No, the Hewlett Packard thing. It's like, I've got an old HP printer. It's like, if that thing that I was talking about, them apparently disabling printer cartridges and possibly printers for canceling a subscription service, is if that was a thing that applied to my machine, I'd never buy another printer. I'm like, I don't know. I saw that article recently that HP disabled some someone's printer for not subscribing to the ink or whatever anymore. I'm like, is that really an image y'all want? Y'all want? Ugh. Also, I should add Altison, thank you for playing Earth Defense Force earlier this morning because it was a reminder that I had not added EDF, um, EDF 5 to my wish list on Steam. <laughs> Splash damage! Oh, uh, boy. Can't get it for a while because full price, but hey. Everybody goes boom. That game is so good. Oh, yeah, the ones with their hands up are surrendering. Okay, I figured as much. But screw common sense, I have a rocket launcher. <laughs> I learned it from Quake! Ah, oh, no splash damage on... Aw. Boo! All right. Okay. Uh. Pew. 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 I'm assuming this isn't timed because. Oh, right. It did say no limit. Let's see what happens though when I go ahead and pop out. This is the exit, right? Training exercise complete. Complete. Yes. Oh boy. Earth Defense Force. I haven't played 4.1 Harley at all. I haven't played uh, 4, whichever one it is I have on 360. I need to change that so bad. Earth Defense Force looks fun as hell. It was when I was playing it. Oh. You can get a decent amount of uh, experience points this way. With no pressure. Alrighty. I mean, I still want to antagonize those dudes holding Chico captive, but, you know. <laughs> uh... No special reports at this time. Okay. Oh, there was one thing that I forgot, and I believe I'll have to go to the mission selector to play that, because it was mentioned last week and I forgot entirely. Ah, uh, great, googly moogly. Ah, uh, cutscenes, regions, all meh. Okay, let's, let's see, target practice two. Commence target. Ah, here we go. Where were they? Data files. Eh? I forgot all about this. Extra Ops 119 and R&D level 88. Oh, wow. I am so far off from, from that. 
I wasn't thinking about all of the tapes, but I don't think I've played any of the tapes on stream, so... Shoot, why not? Let's see, pause this tape. That, that one seems like it was important to listen to a while back. Huh? Number of warheads detected by the dew line. 57. Number of MIRVs included. Minimum 29, maximum 35. Target region, United States, East Coast. Estimated time of re-entry, 2048 Zulu. President selected attack option, unknown. The president is dead, unknown. Communication has been lost. I select Offutt Air Force Base as my target. Offutt? But that's a US base. What on earth do you mean? Based on the projected number of incoming warheads, Washington, D.C. is presumed destroyed. The president is most likely dead. The U.S. government's control lost. I realize that. So why not retaliate? With both sides destroyed, global anarchy would ensue. Recovery would be... difficult. The United States' nuclear strike capability must therefore be neutralized in order to preserve the communist bloc, where government remains largely intact. You're siding with the enemy. You can't be serious. Tell me, how do you define enemy? Asking the no real questions. In this world. The same conclusion again and again. Where is the flaw? All right, let's try something else. Commencing test. Understood. You're crossing a suspension bridge. Oh. Is this my mission? Yes, your destination is the other side. The bridge is wide enough for only one person to pass at a time. A man is approaching from the opposite side. He's carrying a gun. I shoot him. Suppose he's your husband. I shoot him. In self-defense? To spare him the grief. One must die, and one must live. Cold. Next question. Your father asks you to fix the roof and mow the lawn. When you climb the ladder onto <laughs> the roof, the ladder is taken away. I fix the roof. And when you're finished, I jump down. Like a boss! Bones at this height. I see no need to change my decision. I have not finished mowing the lawn. I must remain loyal to the mission. Holy shit! There is a snake in the bushes. It is poisonous. I need you to get rid of it. I chase it back to its nest. You can't. The snake's too vicious. It's already killed many people. I chase it away. It will bite you unless you kill it. Go home. Okay. Kill me now. Why not kill the snake? Your mission is to get rid of it. Is this what you call loyalty? What are you loyal to? Country? Ideology? Feelings? I... I... I am loyal to myself. Who's there? Who's that? That sounds like it could have ended better. Oh boy. Boss getting. It's like I thought boss and getting asked the serious questions, but holy shit, those answers. Can we get a lawn care service headed by her? Well, not necessarily headed by her. Oh, man. Go through more more lawnmower people that way. Woo. Jump off the roof, break my bones, but I must finish mowing the lawn. Oh, there's a lawn mowing simulator. Can we get her added as DLC to that? Hell yes. Portable title as a short game. I mean, there's a there's a little bit of inflation here and there, but short, no. Even without that. All right, so let's see. Next, Strange Love's Memories. Why not? I don't normally listen to all the audio logs. This is. I'm about to leave for Costa Rica, a place completely unfamiliar to me, and on a top secret mission for the CIA, no less. No guarantees I'll come back alive. Might even get rubbed out by the CIA itself. So I'm leaving behind this record, for her sake, for the boss's honor. Ever since I was a child, I've loved to look up at the night sky. I'd go outside after sunset and drink in the cold air, the moon, Venus, 
so many stars floating on the edge of infinity. In Manchester, it wasn't very often you saw the night sky in all its star-studded glory, but it was enough to stir a deep longing inside me. Even as others cowered beneath Nazi air raids, I was out there, watching the skies, dreaming of one day reaching the heavens. There well, if the Nazi were to, Nazis were to blow her to kingdom come, then, you know, mission accomplished. Incredibly sensitive. Even the slightest bit of sun would turn it an angry shade of red. Playing outside during the day was completely out of the question. Naturally, I hardly ever had a chance to play with other children my age. Oh boy, tragic backstory. Lonely for it. Their way of thinking. He's officially a Metal Gear character now. Them simple, easy to predict. The boys would talk of tanks and aeroplanes and creepy, crawly bugs. The girls of pretty dresses, glass beads tea and cakes of boys they liked I never had much to say on such matters the curious thing is adults really aren't all that different truth they're simple capricious especially men hey 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 older, their heads filled with thoughts of women and more women thankfully I always did have a head for mathematics when I was about 10, I visited Dr. Turing, who lived nearby. We'd sit and discuss mathematical logic. The lights were always on at his house, even in the dead of night. Theoretically, he'd say, there's no algorithm that a computing machine couldn't reproduce. Dr. Turing wasn't foolish like other men. Although I didn't find out why until later. After he died, he was secretly a robot. The time will come, he'd say, when computers will be able to think for themselves. That idea rocked me to my core. And then she was handed the mantle of leadership and went on to lead the Autobots. I breezed through school, then went to America for university. While I was studying at Caltech, NASA was established. I signed up in a heartbeat. I was a pretty good computer engineer at the time, and NASA needed skills like mine. The work was enjoyable. Even though I'd given up on going into space myself, it was a pleasure just being a part of it all. I was assigned to Project Mercury, America's effort to compete with the Soviets in manned spaceflight. Seven men were chosen as pilot candidates for the program, becoming heroes overnight. People called them the Mercury Seven. The project made good progress, more or less. We had all the funds and materials we needed. After countless hours of analysis, we even had plans for something on par with Sputnik. We thought it, it was designed in Idaho, so they named it Sputnik. With the Russians. I don't know. They'd sent a dog into orbit and brought it back safely to Earth. But NASA top brass dismissed that success as a fluke. The Americans recovered their re-entry capsules at sea. But the only ocean bordering the Soviet Union is the Arctic. So their re-entry capsules had to make impact on land. Ooh. A dog was one thing, but human spaceflight would still take some time. Or so we thought. At the end of January 1961, we successfully put a chimpanzee named Ham into orbit. He returned to Earth as healthy as ever. NASA was giddy with success. It was then that a new woman showed up for duty. She was a backup pilot and advisor. She was beautiful, with blonde hair, strong mouth, and a steely gaze. Oh. But there was something else in those eyes, a twinkle of something warmer, of affection. It was the boss. She took one look at us in our revelry and murmured, Savor this joy today, because tomorrow you'll have to face the truth. And she was right. The next day, our project schedule was accelerated. We'd received new information that the Soviets were mere months away from putting a man into space. The brass had misjudged the Russians. We couldn't afford to allow the shock of another Sputnik. Somehow, we had to get a man into space before the Russians did. It was an utterly impossible task. We'd only just put our first chimp up. With a human on board, 
failure was not an option. Well, refer to their HP thing. Humans, chimps, same employees. thing. And on top of that, the brass wanted to put a window in the spacecraft. The pilot wouldn't be a test animal this time, they said. And when this hero came back alive and well, they wanted him to describe what he'd seen. It was madness. What? What he'd seen? Because, yes. ...would leave it unable to handle the stress. Not to mention the problem of shielding the occupant from cosmic rays. But the boss rose to the task and splendidly. To she claimed to be a layman when it came to space. But caught on keenly to new ideas and concepts. She was demanding of herself and of others. She seemed rather cold hearted at times. But I was smitten. She was beautiful, yes, but more than that, she was wise. Her mind was thoroughly rational. And yet, no matter how I tried, I could never predict her actions. It was easy for me to assume that her judgments were drawn from an enormous base of knowledge. Quite simply, her life experiences were more diverse, more intense than anyone else's. Accurate. To me, they seemed boundless in their breadth. In her, I saw a reflection of the night sky. Perhaps because I too was a woman, she and I became close. I couldn't go out in the sun, but she lit up my life. Her light was soft, like that of the moon. I was so happy. With her unerring guidance, the project steadily regained its footing. But one issue remained, the pilot's safety. When the day came to choose a pilot, the Mercury 7 just quietly walked out. Who could blame them? It was far too great a risk to take. Even if they'd volunteered, NASA would never have let them go. They were national heroes, basking in the media spotlight. There was no way they'd be sent on such a mission. The conference room was silent. Then, slowly, she raised her hand, almost as if acting out a scene from a movie. Or a video game. They didn't have video games like this back then, sadly. Holy crap. So I'm getting the impression she really looks up to the boss. Gee, didn't call that from all of this game. Okay, we've got like three more of these recordings, and I have no idea how to progress the game just yet, but... Uh... Hmm. Since I don't normally listen to all of the recordings, I am going to go ahead and play another mission before I listen to another recording. I want to see some more of those extra ops. I want to put some more of those down but uh, file library but i figure i will go ahead and listen to this i mean dipping my toes into two and then you know not going any further with them then that would that'd be kind of weird okay armored vehicle battle so we got a we got an extra we got extra ops with more of these okay This is why I should have looked a little bit harder at the extra ops. We've got some interesting battles. So let's see what the first, like, armored vehicle battle we've got is. And we'll dip into that. And, okay. BTR 60PA. I have no idea what that is, and I'm, I'm quite curious. Let's see what happens, though. Commencing mission. You're in for some heavy combat with this one. Try and make it back in one piece. If you I won't do what you tell me. Okay. Uh, oh, not that. Uh, mission prep. What we got? Okay, I was worried they would kick the, su the supply and strike markers after the uh, training room was all like, No, you don't get to use those. No. But hey, they're there. Oh, boy. Still don't get why why Hewlett Packard has the ink subscription thing. I'm going to be hung up on that a little bit, but I'll, I'll drop it though. I promise. It makes more sense for businesses. I get that, but eh. meh. Peace Sentinel. Okay.
Wait, I didn't notice that this thing has enormous gas can weak spots like that other one did. Okay. Either way, I'm going to notice because I'm going to be shooting at it no matter... Oh, it does not. You've got to neutralize that armored vehicle somehow. Like this. Splash damage, suckers! <laughs> uh, you know what? I already like this. This is a stealth mission! Uh, stealth! Stealth mission! Don't get run over, that would suck. Oh? Stealth mission! So this is already a little bit uh, different from its uh, predecessor. Let's see if we can get around back. Oh, shoot. Uh, hmm. Well, the Mark 22 is not going to quite cut it, but hey. <gasps> it's having a little trouble figuring out the whole puzzle of where does Snake go? Yeah, boots on the ground! And everywhere around. <laughs> uh, okay, I need to go on ahead and get the uh, supply markers ready because I'm going to need some more explodey bits. Why did I throw it all the way over there? That was less intelligent than I'm used to doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. For, uh, mistakes were made. Hmm. Let's see. So I, I kind of don't want to waste a rocket on each of them, but hey, whatever. Ew. 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 Oh, where's the other one? Eh. Uh, standing out there like a chump in the middle of the open. Because that's how I roll. I kind of want to see if... Ooh! Cold! I kind of want to see if I can get the uh, vehicle out of this mission. I don't know if you can... get the ATV after uh, this mission, but hey. Oh. I intend to find out. Oh. Oh, that neutralized the shit out of him. Yay, I'm not dead. Minus two heroism. Oh no, I used <laughs> too many supply marker and unrelenting force. Okay. 14 kills. I didn't realize it was that many. Oh man, then there goes the law rank up. FIM 43 on the next one I do. That one, that one gets prioritized next time. Even with its slower reload. That deserves an Arbor Mist. But since I don't have one of those, I'll go with another audio file. Bad news, Snake. Zidornov's on the loose. What? Again? Ha! Ah. It's funny. We took away his prosthetic and did a full body check. We even increased the guard. You think he had help? Impossible. Anyway, I'm adding a new mission. Locate and recover Zidornov. Okay. Well, that answers my earlier question about, hey, how do I unlock more of that ending stuff? Because as I feared, I must actually play the game to advance in the game. Chicken Grunt! I did not notice that name coming. That is an unfortunate name for a rookie. Oh my god. That is really bad. Holy shit. Would you... Is there anyone who wouldn't cringe at having that as the name they receive? They're, grunt is bad enough, maybe not for 
a certain member of G.I. Joe, but, you know, that, that withstanding, whatever. Um, but chicken grunt at that. Yeah, I log to the end of that, and it gets even worse, but it's like... I feel like that's almost implied at this point. Damn! Sorry, guy. Ocean sunfish, blue mackerel. Okay, cuckoo panda. I feel like I should just add chicken grunt to one of the outer ops teams just so that they have the opportunity to die and not have that name. Holy shit. That being said, that gives me hope that the uh, New Zealand fish blue bastard is represented in their uh, in the names. <sighs> because apparently that's the name of an actual fish, and thank you, New Zealand, for that. Let's see. Hmm. See Intel team. 22. Mm -hmm. Waiting room real quick. And back to the waiting room. Let's drop at least one of these folks into... Move you... to Intel. Okay. Management! What? Okay. Food is these two's highest stat. Who in food would go well in intel? Holy shit! Why are you in food, lady? Yeah, Wolverine, I can get why he's in food, but you know. Eight slices, eight dices, and juliennes, bub. Okay, poor big. Let's, let's drop a... Uh, this one, okay, this one, and this one. And I don't think really anyone else unless someone surprises me. I'll just drop those two into... Oh, hello, Elk! Surprisingly high amount of mechanic skill. Yeah, let's just drop those two into... Intel. So we got a supply marker I can shoot. Huh. That sounds like a new toy. Where are they at? Pew. And aerial mining. Let's get all those going. Items. They're still developing. Oh, boy. For the main content of this game, it's a little bit on the short side, but yeah, all this, this back-end management stuff gives it a bit of a tail. Kind of makes me wish I did get it on PSP back when, you know, the PSP was a thing and, you know, not languishing in a box in my room somewhere. Where are we at? Uh... Oh, right, Zadornov Search Mission 2 is the next mission, but I did say another tape first. Zadornov's disappeared from his cell again. Find him. So, briefing files. Ah. Uh... So, I guess we're up to number three on these. Operation Snake Eater Simulation. Oh, this is going to be the one that haunts her dreams for a while. Uh, so Strange Love has shown her attachment to the boss quite thoroughly. But uh, Snake Eater, we all know how that one went. See how it went from her, her view. Enter simulation date. August 24th. Location. Selenoyask, USSR. Mission. Support a covert agent whose objective is the rescue of a nuclear weapons scientist. Who is the agent? Your student. Your most beloved. Acknowledged. Define current mission progress. 
With your help, the agent has successfully made contact with the target. All that's left is to wait for recovery. Now, deduce the best course of action. I shoot him. I take the scientist away from the agent. What for? As a gift when I defect. Why are you defecting? To reform my special forces unit with my former comrades in arms. No, I don't want to know your objective. I'm asking for the reason. Why are you betraying your country? I do not defect in order to betray America. Betrayal is merely the outcome of that defection. Response time is always slower here. Perhaps she lacks confidence in her judgment. You're a hero in the West. Why should the Soviets trust you? In addition to the scientist, I provide them with a portable nuclear warhead in order to win the favor of a Russian GRU officer. And then you All the practical it. stuff. Launched the nuke? Me? That's right. At a target inside Soviet territory. Oh, if nuclear only she weapons. knew. Make my blood run cold. They blot out the future. How could I? Karma is, is it my karma? The karma my mistake has brought upon us? My, my. Attention, discontinue forward reasoning. Cross check with knowledge base. Affirmative. Cross check complete. Revising conclusion as follows. I steal the new weapons developed by the scientist and then launch the nuke at the weapons design bureau. Forward and backward reasoning are in conflict. Attention, return to forward reasoning. Affirmative. Your apprentice returns for the scientist. I send him away. What, no shooting? Up. I send my comrades to defeat him. All of them fail. Even the Gru officer who oversaw your defection is defeated by your apprentice, along with a new weapon. Now, what is your course of action? I fight him. Close Why? enough. With your Gru patron dead, there's no reason for you to fight. Why not just run away? I must fight him. I do not see the reason. With a soldier of your caliber on his side, how could the Gru officer be defeated to begin with? Did you betray him too? I... I've been waiting for a long time. I've been you waiting to to for a snake like you. Escaped. There's no chance they wouldn't welcome you. Give a me a reaction. real good Drift fight. Away. My place is with them now. I didn't ask you that. Give me the basis for your reasoning. Tell me the truth. Politics determine who <laughs> is on the battlefield. Why won't you answer me? It's like you were just waiting for him to kill you. I was disloyal. Betrayed my country. I deserve to die. How can you say that? You can't be a traitor. You're not that kind of person. Kill me. Kill me now. Stop it! Stop it! Attention! Discontinue reasoning! One must die, and one must live. One shall Stop stand, it, one Discontinue. shall fall. Life's end. Isn't it beautiful? Shut down! Damn it, she hit that last line, and now I can't Always get Nikki Six out of my head. Same place. Her reasoning goes haywire. Someone holds the key. Perhaps it's him. I'll get it out of there. One way or another. And that's when she got the car battery. Oh, boy. Ah! Oh. It's like the whole AI thing is miss is falling apart. And it seems like it's just because she's missing a few pieces. A few tiny little pieces that the player gets to see. Like, you know, who fired the nuke. But there's... there's that's some shit. It's like strange love. You're just beating yourself to death over this thing. But I did say I'd try for another mission. So let's see what Zadornov has gotten himself into now. That wacky Zadornov. Oh, they got helmets. Mm hmm. Find Zadornov. And bring him back mm -hmm. here with Fulton recovery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Let's see. Fulton and Love Box. 
All right, just have my little normal loadout here. Okay. Perhaps it should be Fulton's and Cerned in. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board no, helicopter. No. You don't see shit, buddy. You saw nothing. Nothing. Oh, boy, I have a feeling that I'm going to run out of Fultons on this mission. You know what? Actually, Fulton recovery to helicopter let's do it. is complete. Oh, shit. And then there's this guy. Ew. Uh oh. No. Little too close. Hey. I mean, I know I don't have to take everyone out here, but I'm just gonna feel a little bit more comfortable doing so as I'm exploring. And if I fail the mi oh, mission, you know, I can just pay more attention to who I don't have to trank. Okay. Fulton recovery Didn't subject see shit, confirmed buddy. on board helicopter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Okay, love box. That wasn't quite what I wanted to do, but hey. Hmm. Victory is mine! Okay, now I need to actually pay attention to the map because Zadornov. Well, Zadornov thing is a problem. Okay, what's the exclamation point? I'm assuming that was a mission start. Just so I don't get bogged down trying to figure it out. Puerto del Alba! Oh, man. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Apparently, it's out. Oh, this seems like it'd be too easy. You'd just be here. Okay, careful. Uh oh. Hey. No. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, fool. Tears of the Kingdom. So that's uh, a thing now. We have a new Zelda game out. Oh, hello. There's another dude. Where's that other dude? Oh! Chips. Okay, careful. Watch my corners. One. Ooh. Trank rounds. So, Tears of the Kingdom. I never did finish Breath of the Wild. Honestly, it gets so much hype, but... Holy shit, are those dungeons, the little puzzles they call dungeons. They're neat, but they're underwhelming. They're really... I, I don't get why that part of the game gets as much love as it does. Just... No. Uh, <laughs> that and the weapon degradation just serve to piss me off. It's like, what are we doing here? Okay, hope there's no one else here. Box bomb. That is intensely worrying for some reason. I'm assuming it's a box that you get into and suddenly explode. Every inch of that uh, okay. Oh, hello. Hello. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this, but damn it. This is for the trouble, you ass bag. Using Fulton recovery on him. Yeah, I will try using Fulton recovery on him after I shoot him in the taint. Oh, no more that. 
Don't get me wrong, I say all that stuff about uh, Breath of the Wild. I like Breath of the Wild, I actually intend okay. to get back to that at some point. Not on stream, because it's a Nintendo game. But, you know. And now Tears of the Kingdom comes out, and apparently it's got some things... It's got some candy. Bigger dungeons and whatnot. So I'll probably wind up with it eventually, but... Hmm. But all the hype for it, though, and the Eurogamer asking the question, where where do you go next for Legend of Zelda? What are we, we going to get next? And, like, are we going to get a more traditional experience going forward? Or more Breath of the Wild open world shit? It's like, you want my opinion? I say we go steampunk. Steampunk Zelda would be dope. I don't want to go full future. I don't want to pull a Final Fantasy where all of a sudden, you know, Magitek armor and mega huge cities teeming with... With people, Ugh, people. Nah, just, just you know, let's get halfway there. You know, I think, I think, I just can't help but feel that Link riding a, a steam-powered Epona with aviator goggles would be at least amusing. I'd be in. Hey, I didn't kill anyone in this mission. Hopefully, I killed Zadornov's ability to Cat, pee straight. I Zadornov. It's impossible. I thought I'd made it. Acknowledged and appreciated. And now your dick is a pin cushion. You're welcome for the tranks, Zadornov. Steampunk Zelda. Huh? An AI jug. That looks like an AI jug. Zeke's AI jug is barely full. It's like, what, do we, like, pee AI into it? I bet we pee AI into it. Data stream straight from the bladder. Okay, I think my brain's deteriorating a little bit on account of, you know, caffeine. Device that analyzes information about enemies. You can still gather info on stuff by pressing start. Lionfish. Swordfish finch. Oh no, Oriole! <gasps> oh, his mustache is just, just, just out, uh, out from. Oh, that's, that's kind of unfortunate. Grow that mustache out just a little bit more, dude, or shave it off. It's starting to worry me. Just an inch away from Hitler. That's a bad portrait. Oh, Sparrow. And uh. Being reasoned with in the brig. Can we stomp him in the nuts? Stomp him in the nuts. Stomp, stomp him in the nuts. I got a soundboard. I'm going to have to revisit Boondocks for that sound clip. Wacky! Okay. So let's... I'm going to sign off on uh, one more of those tapes. Because I feel like that's the logical conclusion at this point. Is to just... Hmm? Yeah, tapes. Also, okay, what's that? Target demolition? What? Oh, this is under all. I gotcha. I, I did a dumb. Okay. So under main ops. Don't have any more of those yet. So I guess I'll have to actually play again. Oh no! Well, I know what I am going to play right after this. Commencing mission. You're in for some heavy. But I'm going to play that off screen because I do need to go on ahead and pop out. I have some chores that need attention. But first, that last audio file. I love these shots. Why did I not notice these? Look at these portraits. Like, hell yeah. Holy shit, though. She's just anime. Her too, but less so. Slightly less so. Not, not, not like ridiculously huge eyes as much. And then there's this asshole. Uh. Okay. So data files. One more. And then off. 
She told me everything. Why did she open her heart to me like that? At the time, I couldn't understand it. But now, I think I do. Snake, she wanted you to know the truth. She chose me to tell you. That's why she saved my life. I've lied to you so many times, but not this time. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy and to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. But I can't do it. Not because we loved each other and not because you saved my life, but because I made a promise to the boss. And I intend to keep it. I just wanted you to know. And you have to live. Snake, listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No, far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Self-sacrifice, because that was her duty. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the U.S. government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. And now they spell it out. The boss was the star of the show. They planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Volgan inherited and destroy the Shagohad at the same time. Only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Volgan's trust. Finding out where the Philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Time Hogan Lords showed up? American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. And that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it. Not ever. This, they concluded, would be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Good job on them controlling that. ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. And she had no choice but to carry it out. Her death at your hands was a duty she had to fulfill. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. In America, as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. Why a girl? And in no. Russia, as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down I feel like those last two lines were actually said verbatim in a prior a game. <clears throat> and no one will ever understand her. That was her final mission. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. But I think she wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. She wanted to live on in your memory. Not as a soldier, but as a woman. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. Snake, history, will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart and one cassette everything she did 
she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true patriot. Well, shit, Eva, tell us how you really feel. Okay. So, they just straight up spell out what had happened in uh, MGS3 in that debriefing. And damn, if Eva wasn't most tearful the entire time. Ugh. Who's handling the debriefing, though? I can't remember. I seem to recall her having to flee to China by the end of 3. So I'm assuming it's not the CIA handling her on account of I'm pretty sure they were dead set on on making her dead oh what the oh right yeah back out but anyway that's gonna be all for me for this stream I'm gonna go ahead and sign off thanks again one and all for stopping by as I um I don't know handle a chore or two and I will be back tomorrow with Oh boy was it. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with um, Code Veronica. Resident Evil Code Veronica X HD. I'll be back with that at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So uh Mmm. Wow, all the caffeine's wearing off at once. What the hell? Anyway, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with Resident Evil Code Veronica X HD at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I think I am going to officially go on ahead and bump that up my uh, stream times to 6 p.m. Just across the board for consistency because I just uh, never know with work. It's like today I get off early. Some days I, I get off late. And uh, Sunday not so much uh, work because it, it's not a work day, but... You know, just just consistency is what matters to me. So one moment. While I let's see. Okay. Just uh making it official. And I'll have to adjust that vertically, but I'll also have to change it on tomorrow's stream backer, but whatever. Just making it official. Thanks again, one and all, for stopping by. As that little thing down on the bottom left says, I'll be back tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Time for things. So it's going to be Saturdays and Sundays for a while, and I kind of I need my Wednesdays. But either way, thanks again, one and all, for stopping by. Navigator EX here, and I will see you when I see you. Take it easy, party people. Mm hmm.